Don Harari has now become the epicenter of cholera in Zimbabwe. As suspected cases have reached 96 out of the 734 cases. The city also has the highest number of hospitalized people at 15 out of 42. Today, the city held a special council meeting on the cholera outbreak in the wake of this rapid increase in cases. This also comes at a time when the country has recorded 16 suspected cholera deaths. The key drivers uh, that people were using and protected wells, a source of water, and also um, uh, people were not treating the water. Um, and uh, even the water from the bowls, as we know that uh, water is uh, underground water, um, some, in some of the areas is contaminated. So we need to treat water regardless of uh, source. So some of the measures that we put in, to, in, in place in these areas uh, include um, uh, water tracking. Uh, of course, this has been inadequate uh, because uh, the, the city um, does not have enough um, water bowsers to supply the two areas. Uh, for example, in Woodrow, we only have one uh, 10,000 litre uh, tank uh, bowser that is currently available. Uh, against a demand of uh, maybe five of those in the area that is affected. In Greenview 3, we do not have any uh, tank as of now. The city's health department added that consultations for cholera vaccine are underway while awareness campaigns in schools are ongoing. Uh, vaccination is uh, obviously on the cards. Um, we know that uh, uh, there are a lot of outbreaks of cholera in the region and throughout the world at the moment. And there is very high demand uh, for the cholera vaccine. So as a country, we, have, we are in the process of making those applications uh, for us to also access uh, the cholera vaccine. Uh, unfortunately, the, the information that we have now, we probably will be able to get only, get only one uh, dose instead of the two doses that are required. Uh, so this one dose will be, um, will be able to protect uh, our residents uh, for six months uh, instead of the three years if somebody gets two doses. So it's on the cards uh, as to the exact dates when the, the, the vaccination will okay. Um, we are not very certain, but uh, we in, anticipate that in the next month or so we will be able to access uh, the vaccines. The mayor of Harare, Jacob Mafume, has indicated that power supply issues are impacting their efforts in fighting cholera. We just received uh, uh, the cholera update from our department. I would like to thank our department. Uh, we have had uh, no fatalities to date. Uh, most of the people that have been treated uh, have been uh, uh, sent home. We now have 11 at our centers, um, and that's a good one at Petris Infectious Hospital. Uh, we had uh, 94 cases reported to date, uh, around uh, over 20 of those confirmed as cholera and uh, currently we are holding 11 uh, and they are recovering quite well. The uh, hotspots of the cholera outbreak are Budiriro, Glenview uh, 3 and, and, and Bara and we are going to increase our efforts towards those areas. Residents, on the other hand, say that the city council has to take responsibility. They have petitioned to local authorities to urgently address issues of, good, of poor services uh, delivery in the wake of the outbreak. The rising uh, cases of cholera. In fact, this uh, petition was focusing on cholera. Coming against a background where uh, we have seen proliferation or an increase in unattended sewer based across locations, in particular even when you look in uh, Glenview, uh, Budiriro, uh, Mbare, and then in some critics say in Mafukutafara, where we have uh, unattended sewer based uh, for, for a long time. And uh, furthermore uh, to that, uh, it is also the issue of uh, lack of access to municipal water supplies. And you realize that uh, in some of these areas where uh, cholera uh, or suspected cholera cases are there is a shortage of water uh, and also to some great extent also uh, we have been also uh, uh, informed that some of the wells which uh, residents have been taking water or accessing water uh, they might be contaminated.
Okay, so we do hear you, Mr. Mayor. You do say that the power shortage is maybe one of the reasons that cholera is spreading so rapidly across the capital. However, to be honest with you, maybe that could be partly the point, but power, has, power supply has increased. The issue is bad sewage, pi pipes, pipes that are leaking, uh, pipes feeding into the water supply system. These are issues. Somehow, they, I don't believe Refuse they have anything collection to do with is also a challenge. This yeah. isn't about power, is it? No, no, it really isn't. It's about service delivery. And I think it's time we stop shifting blame and actually start taking accountability, taking responsibility. Um, because at the end of the day, the people who are suffering are us. Um, and the minute you keep shifting blame and making up excuses, we mm. are losing confidence. We Absolutely. really are losing confidence. The issues that can be addressed, let them be addressed. And then come back and say, look, we've done A, B, C, D, E, and now we're we're stuck at, at F, you know, yeah. for example. But if there's nothing that's been done entirely, then really you, we just see it as making excuses. Well, it, it just brings, I'm just thinking about the uh, water's pipes. Mm. You know, we've known that this issue has been there for over mm. 10 years, really, and people are starting to jump around now. I think there's something wrong with that. Mm. I think we just really need to get the things done. Let's, let's get the water system yeah. back to operational uh, and functioning well for people because, you know, losing lives over cholera, yeah. it, 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 this in this day and age, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't yeah. make sense. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I think it's time for action. I think that's our call in Morning Rush. Let's act and stop talking. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that's the only way yeah, forward. Yeah, let's it talk is. more action. That's yeah. what we're ready to see. Now, of course, yeah. let us know your thoughts on this and everything else that we have been discussing on Morning Rush so far this morning. The feedback platforms are the Zim Papers, TV Network, Facebook page, at ZTM Prime on Twitter and at ZTM Prime on 